Hey everybody, what's up? This is Chris Mountner, social media producer at penlive.com. I am here at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster where the sinkhole that opened around 4.30 p.m. on Friday has expanded considerably. I am back here at the sinkhole. Um, just to give you guys a look at what's going on, I'm gonna turn around the camera in a moment and behind me you can see construction equipment. There are a couple engineers here uh, working on the sinkhole. None of them would talk to me. Um, they said I had to call the office. We are trying to get in touch and find out uh, how they plan on fixing this, if the sinkhole is going to continue to get larger and what the plan is. For now, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I am seeing. And there it is. I uh, hope you can all hear me. Um, this is at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, as you can see, the sinkhole has widened considerably since uh, this first happened at uh, 4 30 p.m. on Friday. At the time, the sinkhole was um, only extended to maybe about the uh, let's say the stop sign over there, and as you can see, it's, it's grown and, and widened quite a bit. Um, there are some construction crews here getting ready with equipment to, I imagine, clear the way, but that's going to be a long process. I'm going to walk over a little bit. I apologize for the shaky hands, um, but it's, I don't have a little selfie stick here today, but you can see You can see how big this uh, hole has gotten. I'll be walking around to give you guys a look. Um, some people are asking about the stores that they're open. All the stores here are, are open. Um, the, I'm right next to the Aeropost, uh, I can never pronounce it properly, but the uh, Aeropostal Hostel, whatever it's called. Um, and it is still open. All the stores here along the side are, as far as I can tell, open. Um, But again, here at Tanger Outlets, and you can see just how much larger, if you if you followed been following this at all, if you saw my live feed on Friday, then you uh, have an idea just how big this has grown. This has gotten a lot bigger uh, since I was here on Friday afternoon. Um, there's, there's quite a, it's quite a larger uh, sinkhole. I have no I, I don't, as far as I know, there's still no news on what has, what caused this sinkhole to appear. Uh, I don't, we don't have it, I don't have a lot of details. Um, the people working here would not talk to me. They told me to call the home office. Um, we've been trying to get in touch with the managers. Um, we've been in talking to them over the weekend. Um, we will have, once we have more details, they will be up on penlive.com. I encourage you to go to the website later and uh, get information from there but and I apologize again for the shaky camera but again we are at Kanger Outlets in Lancaster where as you can see the sinkhole here which formed on Friday has gotten quite a bit bigger and there are a couple of gentlemen walking around engineers walking around trying to fix it um, but this is going to be a uh, project that will last several days, if not weeks. Um, although there is some construction equipment here. They are working feverishly to repair. We don't know at this point still, and it probably will be a while before any kind of information is released on what might have caused the sinkhole. Uh, whether it was all the rain and what ground we received or something else going on. Uh, the mall stores here are still open. You can hear the music. Um, I have been, uh, I have first, one of the first things I did when I got here was walk around to see if the stores were open. And in fact, they are. Oh, someone's got a drone up there. I am that, that smart. <laughs> I don't know who that person is. I wanna know if I can get that footage. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, they have fencing here to prevent anyone from getting in. There are little ba uh, barriers here. Someone's asking where this is. This is Tanger Outlets in Lancaster, right on the opposite side of Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I don't know what kind of drone that is, but I imagine it's getting some pretty good fo uh, footage. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna slowly kind of make my way around here and get some, give, give you an idea just how long this uh, sinkhole is. I hope you all can hear me. I'm kind of holding my phone up high over the fence to get a get good look at it. As you can see, there are a couple um, onlookers here. There are a couple uh, people watching. Um, and Kim Lamal are just kind of, uh, uh, as one photographer called them, uh, one photographer called them a bunch of looky loos checking out the uh, checking out the damage there were about six cars on Friday that were stuck in here um, that have since um, been removed they were removed late Friday night at around 10 or 11 o'clock but there uh, there were when this first happened around 4 30 p.m. on Friday there were about six cars trapped in these sinkholes. I talked to one woman at the time whose car was, she was in her car when this happened, and uh, she said she was just, a, she was texting a friend, there was a rumble, and the next thing she knew, she was in the dirt. Um, and uh, a couple of, uh, her car was located right over here. And there were a couple of um, passers-by had to climb her out. At the time on Friday, this hole was a lot smaller. Um, although, like I said, about six cars were trapped in it. Um, they removed those on Friday night. They are in the process of continuing to clean up this place. It's a slow, gonna be a slow process, I imagine. This fence will be here for quite some time. We are trying to talk to authorities to get information about the where and when. Um, right now, all the stores are still open. Um, the all the stores that you see in the distance and the stores behind me right now are are open for business. I have no idea if they are expecting this to continue um, past you know to the edge into the street. I'm thinking at this point, it, I'm hoping at this point it might be the end uh, the end of it, but I don't know. We're going to have to contact. We are contacting. Um, we're contacting the mall people. We're contacting engineers. We'll have a post up shortly on Pen Live about sinkholes. Um, so be sure to tune into PenLive.com and here on Facebook. We'll have updated information that we will share. So be sure to check anyway. For those of you just joining us, this is Chris Mounder at PenLive.com, and I am here at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster County, across from Dutch Wonderland, off of Route 30. Um, kind of surveying the scene of the sinkhole, the massive sinkhole that happened here on Friday afternoon. As you can see, it has gotten a lot bigger since I, so over the weekend. Um, this ended right about where in front of me. The sinkhole was only as large as, I would say it's a small tree or like maybe two, two rows of parking spaces in and now it's consumed the whole rest of that lot. So over the weekend, it really came down. Um, so there has been a lot. There have been a lot of sinkholes around here. I know Palmyra had sinkhole issues um, due to the excessive rain and uh, problems that were going on. I'm just going to walk around for a little bit. I'm going to give you kind of a 360 view of the uh, of the sinkhole. I'll be stopping every so often just to give you guys a look at uh, how it looks. But if you have a question, give me a call. Um, you can ask it in the uh, comments section. Um, and you can uh, let me know what you think. So I'm just, I apologize for the shaking hands. I don't have my little selfie stick here, uh, a little stabilizer left in the office. But hopefully this will give you an idea of how, if I walk around, I'll give you an idea of how large this is. I'm just going to give a quick. And they've extended this fence back pretty far. I'm gonna have to walk all the way down to the H&M just to walk around the side. No, this is a once in a lifetime thing. So, 
There you go again for people just joining me. Chris Mounter, Penn Live here at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster. Giant sinkhole formed over the weekend, swallowed a bunch of cars. Uh, they were able to get the cars out. And you're waiting for the aliens. Steve says he's waiting for the alien spacecraft to come up. Me too. Maybe it's the Underminer from The Incredibles that's going to be here. So I'm going to walk a little, a little more. You can see how far they've extended this fence, this little fence here, to try and keep people safe. They're trying to keep people as far away from... Lois is asking, did they get the cars out safely? Yes, they did late Friday night. Um, someone's asking about when the U.S. Geological Survey coming. I don't know about the USGS, but there are engineers here working. In the distance, you can see the the uh, for, I, I don't know, uh, construction equipment. I don't, is that crane, forklift? I am horrible with construction terms because I am a nerd. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit more, walk around the side here. We're a little far distance away, but I'll go around to the other side and give you a look. Um, in case you were wondering, yes, all the stores here, as far as I can tell, at the outlet are open. Um, again, I apologize for the shaky hands, not the best, but I don't have my stabilizer. I ran out the office. But that can give you a little bit of an idea of how it looks from over here. And I'll walk around to the other side. You can see in the distance, there's a bunch of uh, shoppers and onlookers here getting photos and video. I imagine Facebook will be filled of uh, live videos and snippets similar to this. So, gonna walk around to the other side. Again, on, we don't have a lot of information yet as far as how long this is going to take to repair, what caused it, what their pl current plan is. We hope to get that information. We are trying to contact the, uh, the mall authorities, the managers, and get in touch with them and find out. Tune in to Penn Live throughout the day. We will have updates. We will be following the story as it goes. And of course, we've got our live video. Um, and all the rest of news. I'm gonna give you a little view from here. The fence is a lot higher here, so I'm gonna to have to kind of extend my reach. You may not be able to hear me. And again, if you're wondering, yes, those those stores are open. The Aero Postal and the American Eagle, they are, they are open. As you can see, this fence extends pretty wide, pretty wide area. Other media crews are here. WJL, CBS 21 are here. Um, I know some people at Lancaster was online earlier today. So this is, this is a big deal for a lot of people around here. And you can see there's even a drone flying up in the sky, getting images. I wanna see, if, I'd love to see where that drone is. So, here's another look at the damage. You can see how extensive the damage is. Again, we haven't heard from anyone about how, um, if, they, if they expect this to continue expanding, I'm thinking it might. Um, they certainly widen the path around it very larger to see if it'll get bigger. I, probably would expect it to get my, my guess and I am not an engineer is that it would get a little bit bigger considering how far it's expanded over the weekend um, the stores are still open right now American Eagle and Aeropostale are still open um, the stores behind me right now are all open people are shopping um, and there are, are a bunch of onlookers as you can see so So you can kind of see how how big that is. It's gotten a lot bigger since Friday. It has gotten a lot bigger since Friday. Um, again, Chris Mountner, PenLive.com, here at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster, where the sinkhole that formed on Friday afternoon around 4:30. 
um, has gotten considerably bigger. Um, I would ex uh, when we, when this first formed, there were about six cars trapped right where I'm I'm filming right now. Um, six cars. This is Tanger Outlet. Someone's asking. This is the Tanger Outlet right across from Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster County. Um, as you can see, when we this first formed, there were about six cars trapped in the hole. They got those out, I believe, Friday night with a crane. Um, most of the cars were undamaged. No one was injured um, in the sinkhole, thankfully. Uh, I did talk to one woman on Friday who was uh, stuck in her car when the sinkhole formed, and uh, she had to get help from passersby to get out of her car, but she was uninjured, and uh, to my knowledge, nobody else was injured at the uh, mall. The mall manager said no one was injured at the time. So as far as I know, there, no, one, no one was injured from the sinkhole. And the cars only suffered minimal damage, is my understanding as well. I'm gonna turn around a little here. You can see how extensive it is. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. You can see a, a couple onlookers here. You can see some of the construction crews working on a water line here. I don't know if it's to drain or fill. But So again, those of you just joining us, Chris Mountner at Penn Live from Penn Live, and we are here at Tanger Outlets, checking up on the uh, sinkhole, which has expanded considerably. None of this was falling down when I was here on Friday, and you can see it has gotten a lot bigger. No word yet on if they continue to see this continue to expand, if this is going to continue to reach out if the stores are in danger right now all the stores are open you can see engineers working um, but I don't have any information yet on uh, how long it's going to, how long process it's going to be or what they are expecting to, to do um, I imagine it's going to take quite a while to get this clean <laughs> Again, be sure and check up on penlive.com throughout the day. We are trying to get in touch with the authorities here at the mall and get information about where and when. Um, and we'll be sharing that on our website and on Facebook. So please do check in later today. We'll continue to have updates on this story. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more to get another view from the other side. See there are a couple onlookers here, a couple people taking photos, video. Because this is kind of this is the sinkhole to beat all sinkholes. In case you were wondering. So again, Chris Mounder, Penn Live.
here in Lancaster across from Dutch Wonderland on Route 30 where the sinkhole at Tanger Outlets has expanded considerably. Um, this happened at around 4.30 on Friday and has grown to, I'd say twice its length uh, since that happened. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Mom. You can see crews here, construction crews, getting ready to do something. It's going to be a long process. And they clearly do not want to be bothered because I tried to bother them earlier and they did not want to be bothered. Understandable. I'm going to keep this going as long as people are interested in watching it. So um, I might I might not uh, say much, but I'm going to keep uh, keep filming. If you have a question, ask in the content comments. If I don't get to it, someone else will. There was a drone getting footage of this earlier. I'm hoping uh, I might find the person who had it and we can get info from them. A lot of people out here. What do you get? Again, as far as I know, no one was injured. There were no injuries, um, severe at least. Um, the cars even had minimal damage. The stores are still open here. They have not closed the stores yet, which I assume means they're not concerned. They don't believe the uh, sinkhole is going to spread to the stores, at least for now. over here. I'm going to walk back around a little. So again, here at Tanger Outlets in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, right across from Dutch Wonderland off of Route 30. Whereas you can see the sinkhole that formed on Friday, Friday afternoon, has grown considerably. Um, no news on whether it's going to continue to grow or if, it, or if this, um, they believe it's at the limit. And that I do, there is some equipment you can see in the distance. Um, this is the new section of Tanger Outlets. This S section um, is not even quite a year old. This was built um, earlier back in I think fall and it came out it was uh, this this area here was constructed in the fall um, no news yet on what caused this sinkhole to form I imagine it will be a while before engineers are able to specifically say what the cause was um, as far as I knew right now um, crews are working to repair things but obviously it's gonna be a slow process there were six cars here Friday that were trapped in the sinkhole. 
that were removed later that night with a crane. And since then, over the weekend, the sinkhole has expanded considerably and grown to rather, rather large sizes. I'm going to walk around just to give you guys kind of a, a 360 view. Pardon the mall music. I, I think it's a, I uh, hope there's no copyright protection here um, for the knack while I Someone's asking, yes, this is the outlet right across from Dutch Wonderland. Um, this is a new section of the outlet. This section was built in the fall, so it's not even quite a year old, about probably 10, 11 months old. This happened very suddenly on Friday. Around, I would say 4.30ish is what I've been told. I did talk to a woman who um, was in her car. Her car was like right here when this happened. She was in her car texting someone and the next thing she knew she was in the ground, she said. Um, she was uninjured. I'm pretty sure that any um, there were no severe injuries and the cars had minimal damage is my understanding. There are still a lot of shoppers here, especially towards the front of the outlet. Um, and there are, of course, a bunch of onlookers here today, checking out the mall. Um, a lot of people taking photos and video, um, trying to get pictures of the scene, like me. But it's Monday, so it's not terribly crowded. But you can see, if you watched, if you were here on Friday and you uh, saw my live feed then or saw any of the photos from then, you know how much this has expanded in the short time. Um, just within the 72, 48 hours since, um, it has grown considerably. Um, and I have no official word on if they believe this is going to continue to expand. Obviously, they've moved the fences back considerably to prevent people from getting anywhere near this. So I don't know if they're going to continue, this is going to continue to be an issue or not, or if they feel at this point. Certainly, they have construction equipment here, which seems they feel is at least a little safer. I'm going to get over a little closer to that so you can see. But obviously they feel it's secure enough to hold their equipment. And as you can hear, all the stores here are open. All the stores here are open. Um, none have closed. You can see the we're behind a barrier. It's safe. Yeah, when I was here on Friday, I would say it ended right about there. So right about maybe here. And it's expanded this whole way across in that short time. So. You can see they do have equipment here. They're getting ready to clear it up, I assume. I have a dump truck I imagine to collect this stuff. If they start doing it, I will start catching it. They're trying to figure out how to best attack the problem.
someone's asking, has it spread since I've been here? Yes, I was here on Friday and it has spread considerably. I'd say it's doubled. The size of the hole has doubled, if not more, uh, since I was here on Friday afternoon. Someone asked what happened to the cars that were in the sinkhole. Uh, they were removed on Friday night with a crane. Uh, came and got them at around 10, 11 o'clock. Um, my understanding is most of them had minimal damage. So they're okay, no one was injured. Doors are open here, and there are shoppers walking around. Someone's asking what store I'm in front of right now. I am in front of just a quick store. There's the Aeropostale. That's where I am. Over here is the American Eagle. Um, down that way is the H&M. They are all open, as far as I can tell. You can see the, uh, sorry about the shaking hands. You can see the doors are open. They're open for business. Um, I'm assuming that means right now they don't feel there's a concern about the sinkhole spreading. It has been spreading slowly. Um, I should note that. It's, as in, except for the initial very quick fall, it has been moving very slowly.
Fox 43 just arrived. Okay, so as you can see, the Irritanger outlets in Lancaster, the uh, massive sinkhole that uh, began, opened on Friday afternoon, late Friday afternoon, has more than doubled in size. Crews are here, construction crews um, getting ready to try and repair and see the extent of the damage. I'm gonna sign off for now, but uh, we'll continue to have updates on Penn Live. Dot com and here on Facebook. Please uh, join us throughout the day. Um, if the crews start working, I'll go live and capture that as well. So for now, this is Chris Manor signing off.